Several people have asked about our live streaming setup and we hope this short introduction of some help to you. Your audio console receives and balances audio feeds from other sources such as cameras, microphones and of course your keyboard. Briefly here in this setup we have two HDMI connected cameras, a notebook with PowerPoint that's also connected by HDMI and these feed directly by HDMI into the ATM Mini. The ATM Mini switches between the various HDMI feeds, camera 1, camera 3, and now the PowerPoint. And this is fed in by USB to the notebook. Open broadcast software is free and receives USB input from the ATM Mini and streams it of course to Facebook or YouTube. We're using the ATM Mini to again switch between our various feeds. OBS is very powerful software with a lot of capability including the ability to add overlay graphics. Now prior to worship services we have a five minute countdown featuring a series of images or a video as previously prepared and hosted on the secondary notebook. With OBS you can create a variety of overlays such as text, images, graphics and these can be turned on or off at will during live streaming. You may also stream pre-recorded content such as videos that others have filmed. We've now switched back to our live camera feed. At the end of our live stream service, we usually exit with an image and some background music. And you'll notice also that you can change the audio source and change the audio levels. To start streaming, once your broadcast destination is set, either for YouTube or Facebook or another platform, simply click on Start Streaming. And you'll notice that the status bar gives you the statistics of the live stream. And when you finish live streaming, simply click Stop Streaming. One of the things we've also found helpful is one or two studio feedback monitors that help us give us a visual representation of what we're streaming. If you're using a data projector, you may also split the HDMI feed from your PowerPoint notebook using a powered HDMI splitter. Anyway, we hope this insight into our live streaming work is of help to you in your plans to live stream your event.